a really good day. Um, and I want to just uh, compliment, first of all, uh, our guys and also Cincinnati for being professionals. You know, you always worry about, you know, guys, you know, going off and fighting and all those things. And they did. were great. They stayed on their feet, uh, stayed away from the quarterback on both sides and did a really good job of just being professional. And they were physical. And we got some really good work done. So a lot of good situations in that practice. Uh, like I said, that's the first time I've done that one day joint practice. And again, I thought it was really good. A lot of good work in the kicking game. Uh, as you guys saw, certainly with the, that long period we have a kickoff, kickoff return, that was very beneficial for us to be able to go back and look at that um, punt and punt return. That was really good too. But again, we finished off with the two minute at the end. I thought that was good with the ones and twos. Uh, a lot of good work overall. Um, in terms of the starters this week, uh, you know, I'm just going to say this. We feel really good about our plan um, and the process that we've been through so far in, uh, in training camp. And uh, you will see the starters uh, in that game. You know, so again, I talked about uh, competitive reps the other day, and I feel like we've gotten a lot of good competitive reps. You know, ones on ones, a lot of good situations. Uh, this day was another uh, chance for us to get competitive reps against another opponent, another skill set, which was uh, was outstanding. And then this week coming up on Saturday, we get another chance to get some reps there too. So we feel really good about that. Um, yeah. So with that, open the questions. But how many reps are you expecting? Yeah, like I said, we're, we feel good about our plan, our process there, and that depends on the ebb and flow of the game. So we'll we'll, we'll get the, we'll figure that out when we're at the game, and we got a good range that we feel feel good about, like we did last time, and we'll see where that is during the game. Matt, with the two injuries that Cincinnati had in about a ten minute stretch, is there any thought to call in practice early? During that? Uh, no, it's very unfortunate, and you feel bad for for those particular players that that had those injuries, um, but. You know, we had a plan in place uh, for the rain if we had the, the lightning. You know, that was certainly that. And then if we have an extended thing for injury, we could always combine the fields and make them one, uh, as we would have done with the, the WPC if we had to take it inside. But, uh, uh, yeah, so that's where we are. When, what Caleb did last Saturday and coming in through this week of practice, how has he built on that heading into now another chance to – kind of get those reps in the preview. Well, it was it was really good because, you know, Cincinnati offers a different structure, you know, a different set of uh, circumstances or looks, uh, so to speak, that you get from different teams across the league. And and you're going to face that week in and week out. So I think it was very beneficial uh, to play a Buffalo team that is very similar to us um, in turn defensively. Uh, so it wasn't that big of a stretch for him to learn those, uh, the rules and where things are in terms of the passing game. Uh, coverage contours are similar, and then this this group's a little bit different, you know, and they do some different things. They're an odd structure team, and so for him to learn the rules, the protection rules, the run, the runs, the runs, runs the pass, and uh, where the open space is, I think was really good learning for him and experience. And I thought this was outstanding today too. You know, that first seven on seven, he threw an interception, um, then he comes back, you know, and, and uh, so it was great to be out there in the weather today for really everybody. Uh, just because of the ball, you know, that you have to handle the ball differently in the wet, you know, and it was it was wet out there. It was a pretty good rain at times. Uh, but not only that, it's also the footwork. You know, the footwork matters. You got to keep your feet under your frame. Uh, you got to make sure that you're doing a good job with your footwork, you know, in terms of planning, driving, moving in that wet condition. Uh, so I thought that was a good experience, too, for really everybody. How has Nate Davis looked since he got back out to practice? And I mean, you were... Different talking about a player that's been out for a while with injuries with us as you have been maybe in three years with him. Do you, do you think he – was that used to get a message through to him? I will just say this about Nate. He, you know, he's uh, he's been working to get back, and he's done that. And uh, it's unfortunate that he's had those injuries, uh, that he's had in his, uh, his time here. Uh, but, again, he's worked every time to get back. And when he was back, he did a nice job in there. So, um, again, that's a competition. We're looking at that for who the best – Inside players are for us. Um, that's not solidified yet at center or at that one guard position. Um, you know, we feel really good about Tev at that one spot. So we'll see where that goes going through this week and moving into the next week. When do you think Bates will be back out there? Um, yeah, he's week to week right now, so I don't really know. I, I, I hope, I'm hopeful that it's soon. Um, you know, so I hope, you know, we'll see. Matt, with Bayless uh, going from, I think, with the twos earlier in the week and getting some one reps today, what has he shown you to, to earn those starters reps? Uh, just toughness, you know, and he's he's able to handle that position, 
Um, you know, you would think that, hey, come a receiver and then going back to, you know, to the tight or the uh, halfback spot is uh, you got to have some toughness in there. And he does. And he's able to get the reads down and he's slowly getting it. You know, it's not easy to learn how to run the outside zone and the, you know, the inside duo play and all the plays that everybody runs in the league. That takes some time. And then really about the protections. You know, he's learning that. I know he was up here talking about that, but uh, he's getting those too. This might, this might sound silly, but just the way that it was positioned on hard knocks, like if he's making this switch to running back, is that a, re a potential, if you make the roster, is that, is that a re reclassification for him of position? Yeah, I don't think we're there yet uh, to make that uh, declaration, but uh, certainly the more flexibility you have, you know, and we're using our skill sets, and my head's off to the offensive staff and Shane to be able to do that. Coach, Jalen was, was rarely targeted today in practice similar to how it was last year. Obviously, he had two rookies playing opposite him. But does that allow you to take advantage of the numbers game in a different way and just do different things with rolling coverages or sending pressure from the other side? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we look at that all the time, you know, where, where the ball's being thrown and, and where it's not, and then where you can really lean your coverages uh, to certain players when they're located in those spots. You know, teams do a great job of, of putting those good players on the move a lot of times uh, through jet motion, through normal motion, uh, through formationing. Uh, putting them in different locations. So uh, you really have to be on it and, uh, you know, on the screws on that. But, uh, yeah, um, I definitely see the point there. It seems like the uh, first team defensive line is playing pretty well in team period. Gervin Dexter had some pressure. It seems that they were doing pretty well against the run. What have you seen out of that group in the way they're kind of coming along this summer? Yeah, it's good to have, uh, you know, uh, Dex in there and, you know, Big Bill's in there. So those guys have been doing a really good job of solidifying the middle. Um, you know, you can play good run defense when your tackles play well, right? And they have to really own that inside uh, because if they don't own the inside, then there's gaps that are exposed in the running game. It doesn't matter if it's an inside run or an outside run. So uh, those guys have done a solid job of that. But the run defense starts right there um, every time. And then to me, it's about those guys really applying that pressure inside. You know, you have a big man in there uh, to be able to apply some big pressure with some big length. Uh, to be able to deflect footballs and those create takeaways and really create pressure on, on the quarterback. But uh, it's good to see he's got good progress so far. Yeah, I think Shane, Shane said that it, uh, the right guard spot is Davis's is when he gets healthy, and that's been the case since he's been back. Mm -hmm. But is that his job to lose, or will that be a competition when Bates gets back also? Yeah, like I said, I think it's important that we keep an open mind here. We're not, you know, it's not the end of training camp yet, you know, and I think we just keep an open mind. You know, what's the health of Bates? That's going to be a factor of that. Uh, you know, Davis also staying healthy. Uh, Matt progressing, you know, in that spot as well and doing a nice job last week in the Buffalo game in the practice. You know, so, you know, I think we make that decision, you know, as fast as we can, but you also take your process and make it make the right decision. And, again, we're going to need everybody. Everybody's going to play, you know, uh, those guys that I just said are going to play and be part of our line. And we're fortunate to be able to have that flexibility and that position flex and those guys being able to move in there that have those starter reps in the NFL. So uh, I think it's a, it's a good position to be in. Matt, Matt what is you it? look at a young player like Austin Booker, who with every opportunity you've given him, he seems to... You said Austin, you said Booker? Austin Booker, okay. yeah. Uh, it seems with every opportunity to find his way to make an impact in some way, does that make you want to see him out there possibly against the ones this Sunday? Saw so him get some run versus the ones today. Maybe just to see, okay, you've shown it versus the twos, you've shown it versus the threes. Now let's see what you can do versus the best of the best. Yeah, I, I think he, I think he's earned that. Now we got to talk about that as a staff, you know. But we definitely, uh, you know, rotate those players. Um, who, who we see is the rush group, you know. So you're rotating at least six of those guys during the course of a game. If you if you have eight up or you know, uh, active for the game. And, uh, you know, he's really shown well in terms of that. He's, like I said, he's a natural rusher, real instinctual, doesn't predetermine prior to, and you saw that today again. Um, he's got, some guys just have natural slip and be able to turn the corner. Um, you know, he's got that. And so he's, you know, improving. And the most important thing he has is motor. You know, he, he throws his fastball every play, and that's what a good D lineman does. Next step for Kate, uh, last week you said, the operation, awareness in the pocket for Caleb. What's the next step you want to see from him this week? Just much of the same, really. Like I said, he's going against a different structure here, so I think that uh, just you know much of the same and improving and, and doing the basics of quarterbacking. And I think that he did that last week at a solid rate. You know, there's a couple things with the footwork under center and those types of things where he's got to improve, and he's worked on those this week. But really, much of the same and just a leveling up. You know, as we go through these weeks. Thank you. Thank you.